to my new video. Today I will be making Christmas cards and it's not even summer yet. I had the request to make 30 Christmas cards and I found this really good batch of blank greeting cards online which were exactly 30 pieces and I just couldn't wait to get started. Also, better to be on time than late. Oop, there went the first ink. I put down some supplies that you're seeing on screen right now. Um, the blank greeting cards by Strathmore that I ordered. They appear to be quite an old batch from a gallery that I think went bankrupt and somebody bought all their supplies, so I could get them quite cheap. Um, the supplies I'm showing you on screen are the Rower and Klinger inks. I already had those and they are in two greens and um, the old green and this that I'm showing you now, if it will focus, is the sap green. And then we also had a red in there. So I found some designs online which were very cute and I wanted to do a design per 10 cards. And the first design I found that really spoke to me had green and red elements. So I figured Let's go ahead and get some supplies out with those colors. The second supplies I'll be looking into are the Reeves paints. Now they are student grade at best, but I figured to make some cards it would actually do just fine. I will leave a link to the design that I'll be referencing in the description down below if you want to see what I'll be creating, get a little sneak peek. And these are the inks and the watercolors that I'll be swatching to see if they would be a good match for what I wanted. And then the necessary masking tape, just standard tape, nothing special. A round synthetic watercolor brush by the brand Ami, size 8. And then we have a Raphael Kolinsky brush number six, also a round brush, still unused. And I think I didn't even use it during this painting, but I thought I was, so I included it for you. So with all these supplies ready to go and be tested to see what gives us the result we want, we can get started with some test swatches. So I start by putting some ink to the paper. During this phase of the swatching, I noticed that without diluting the inks, they were too intense for the look that I was going for and that the design asked for. So they kind of fell out as an option. Then I took the Reeves watercolor paints and as I poured them out, you can see some binder and pigment separation, which is pretty normal with this brand, and you can just mix it back in with your brush, and it's usually fine. Now, these colors, I've been using some professional watercolors for a while now. They did appear too chalky to me to really be happy with the results that I wanted for these cards. So, uh, after I swatched my two green colors, I wasn't quite satisfied, so I took another route instead. Now for the paper, we'll be using the blank greeting cards by Strathmore, and they are white with the red decal, which means the red stripe on top that you saw there. They included cards and envelopes to match, so it's a really fancy set. The paper does actually have some structure, but it's quite thin, so it's not meant for very heavy washes. But it should do fine for a bit of watercolor without too much water added. So the first step is taking our tape and bordering off the area that we're actually going to paint. Here we go, just a triangle is good enough for now. 
Now I already had some greens and reds in these little palettes over here, so I took those out again. And as you can see, I did the entire batch already with the masking tape so that every other thing could go smoothly and my paints wouldn't dry out in between designs. So basically I abandoned everything I thought I was going to use at the beginning of the video, for which I'm sorry, because I have since switched to a flat brush, synthetic hairs, and some paints I had lying around. Now as you can see there is a Winsor & Newton palette right to the side, but we'll get to that. And I just add some different types of greens in stripes to the triangles that we've masked out. The Winsor & Newton palette I'm about to show you in the next shot. It was given to me by my grandfather for my birthday when I was about 13. And um, I've used it some, but not a lot. There are 14 colors included, which you'll see on the screen, and they are student grade paints but they were perfect for this design portion of the greeting cards. Finally got my friends in the back of my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in the Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment to Give you a moment with me Spend all the roses Spend all the roses with me Since you got lost in November See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment to Give you a moment with me Spend all the roses Spend all the roses with me
So now that we got our clean triangle of green, we can go in and add a finishing touch, which in this case we'll do with the Ecoline 801. And it's supposed to be more like a watercolor, but it's a pretty thick one because this is in the color gold, so there are actual flakes in there. finished design. So I hope you like it. I'm pretty pleased with what it's become. And if you like this design or this video, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Just starting out, so any help would be very, very welcome. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the other two Christmas card designs yet to come on my channel. It's been wonderful having you and can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!